Freddie Davis here, president of Market Faith Ministries, coming to you once again from the library. Market Faith Ministries provides radical disciple training to help believers become more knowledgeable of and confident in their Christian faith. We are a lay seminary in a can. Today's question is, what is the meaning of human history? Now, we've been going through the seven worldview questions, and this is question number seven. What is the meaning of human history? Now, of course, each one of the worldviews has its own take on how reality is organized, and thus they have their own unique way of answering this particular question. For instance, in naturalism, history is looked at as the linear progression of events without any kind of special meaning. Now, the reason that there is no special meaning is because for there to be special objective meaning to history, there has to be some entity outside of history to give it meaning, and they believe that there is no such thing as a supernatural reality, and thus uh, history is moving forward, but there is no meaning to it. It just exists. Now, in animism, they believe also that history is a linear progression of events without special meaning, but the reason it ha doesn't have special meaning is different than in naturalism. Rather than uh, being because there is no outside uh, transcendent reality, animism does believe that, but at the same time uh, there is no uh, overarching reason for the existence. It just does exist even though there is a supernatural reality. Now in Far Eastern thought there's an entirely different take on the concept of history. In fact, time in Far Eastern thought is understood to be an illusion. Uh, time does not go uh, linear uh, from past to present to future. Rather, they understand time to exist in cycles and it just continues to move in these cycles and so the very concept of time is illusory. Now in theism, we also believe that history operates in a linear fashion and history is a linear succession of events beginning with God's creation and moving toward the fulfillment of God's purpose for the material universe. Now as Christians, our authority source for understanding reality is God's revelation in the Bible. In one way, we are in line with theism and believe that History is a linear succession of events, but we specifically believe that there's the purpose in history is the fulfillment of God's purpose as it is revealed in the Bible. Now, if you'd like more information about worldview and the practical implications of worldview, I'd like to invite you to check out the Market Faith Ministries website at www.marketfaith.org.